I want us to simplify the radical expression. And one thing I want to tell you, family, is if you can break down the radical, you can do so before you actually multiply. But the only difference is when you actually multiply, you're still going to have to break it down at the end. So this is why I tell you to multiply first, then break it down at the end. So after we multiply our coefficients, 2 and 7, we get 14. When we multiply our radicals, 30 and 6, we're going to get 180. X to the third times X to the fifth is going to be X to the eighth. Now, once we break this down, right, we're going to have 36 times 5 times X to the eighth. Now, we should know that we could pull out the square root of 36 and the square root of X to the eighth. And once we simplify, we're going to have 14 times the square root of 36, which is 6. Radical 5 stays the same. And x to the 8th, when we divide it by the root, we're going to get x to the 4th power. So we multiply again. 14 times 6 is going to give us 84. We have x to the 4th. And then radical 5 is going to stay the same. So when you're multiplying radical expressions with variables, this is how you will do it. Always double check at the end if there is anything else that you could simplify under the radical.